Have you ever heard of a rhinoceros so rare, it's considered a living fossil? Deep in the misty forests of Southeast Asia lives the Sumatran rhinoceros, the smallest and most elusive of all rhino species. Today we're diving into the mysterious world of the Sumatran rhino, its unique traits, why it's vanishing and what's being done to save it. Stay with us until the end to discover how this ancient creature is clinging to survival in a modern world. The Sumatran rhinoceros, Dicerorhinus sumatrensis, is the only Asian rhino with two horns and is the smallest of the five remaining rhino species. Adults weigh between 500 and 800 kilograms, a fraction of the size of their African cousins. Covered in reddish-brown hair, it looks like a creature from another era, which makes sense. It's the closest living relative to the prehistoric woolly rhinoceros. Their shaggy coat helps protect them from insects in the dense humid jungles they call home. These rhinos once roamed throughout Southeast Asia, including India, Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Today, they are found only in small, fragmented populations on the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. Habitat loss and poaching have decimated their numbers. With fewer than 80 individuals left in the wild, the Sumatran rhino is critically endangered. They are considered functionally extinct in the wild in Malaysia, and nearly invisible even in areas where they are known to exist. One reason for their decline is their secretive behavior. These rhinos are solitary, elusive, and prefer thick jungle terrain where they're hard to track. They use well-worn trails and mud wallows to mark territory and communicate with other rhinos through high-pitched whistles and scent marking. Their hidden lifestyle makes it difficult for researchers to monitor them, and even harder to protect them. This invisibility has, sadly, worked against their survival. Another challenge is their extremely low birth rate. Female Sumatran rhinos can only conceive during specific short periods in their cycle, and they often suffer from reproductive diseases if they go too long without breeding. Captive breeding has proven incredibly difficult, with only a handful of successful births in conservation centers over the past few decades. In the wild, finding a mate in such a sparse population is even more unlikely. Despite their low profile, Sumatran rhinos play a vital role in their ecosystem. As browsers they eat leaves, twigs, fruits and bark, helping shape the forest and spread seeds. Their presence indicates a healthy, undisturbed rainforest. Losing them would not only mean the extinction of a species, but also the collapse of a crucial ecological balance in one of the world's most biodiverse habitats. They are not just symbols of wilderness, they are part of its foundation. But hope is not lost. Conservationists across the world are uniting in a last-ditch effort to save the Sumatran rhino. Protected reserves, DNA banks, and specialized breeding programs have been developed to increase their numbers. Technologies like camera traps and drone monitoring are now used to find and track these elusive creatures. Each discovery of a new individual brings renewed hope, a tiny heartbeat in the vast, green silence of the rainforest. The Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary in Indonesia has become a critical lifeline for the species. Located within the Wei Kambas National Park in Sumatra, this facility is home to several rescued rhinos. Here, they are monitored, protected, and, when possible, encouraged to breed under natural conditions. The first Sumatran rhino born in captivity in over a century was delivered here in 2001, and since then, a few more calves have followed. These births are rare but significant milestones. Advanced reproductive technology is also playing a role. Scientists are exploring artificial insemination and in vitro fertilization using preserved eggs and sperm from deceased individuals. While these methods are still experimental, they may one day be essential tools in restoring genetic diversity. With such a tiny population, maintaining healthy genetic lines is crucial. Every rhino counts, and every genetic sample could be a future lifeline for the species. International support has been essential. Organizations like the International Rhino Foundation and WWF work with local governments and communities to protect rhino habitats and stop illegal poaching. Anti-poaching patrols, public education, and sustainable land management help create a safer world for these animals. It's a team effort that stretches across continents and cultures, united by the goal of saving one of Earth's most ancient mammals. Community involvement is key to long-term success. In Sumatra and Borneo, local people are being trained as wildlife rangers, guides, and conservation workers. Their knowledge of the forest and its secrets is invaluable. By giving these communities a stake in the rhino's survival, conservation becomes a shared mission, not just an outside intervention. The rhino becomes not only a wild animal to protect, but a source of local pride. 
Still, time is running out. As forests are cleared for agriculture, palm oil plantations and mining, the rhinos lose more of their already limited habitat. Fragmentation also isolates individuals making it harder for them to find mates or resources. Without urgent action, the Sumatran rhino could vanish within our lifetime. But, if enough people care, and act, there's still a chance to pull them back from the brink. The story of the Sumatran rhinoceros is one of crisis, but also of hope and resilience. These creatures have survived ice ages, predators, and millennia of change. Now, they face their greatest challenge yet, coexisting with humanity. Saving them requires not just science but empathy, commitment, and global collaboration. Their survival is possible, but only if we choose to fight for it. The Sumatran rhinoceros is a living relic, a connection to Earth's distant past, but more than that it's a symbol of what's at stake in the fight for biodiversity. With fewer than 80 individuals left, every moment matters, and every action counts. By protecting the Sumatran rhino we protect not just a species but an entire ecosystem and a part of ourselves that believes in second chances. Their story isn't over yet and with help, the next chapter could be one of survival, growth and renewal. And that's it for today's journey into the world of the Sumatran rhinoceros. Were you surprised by how extraordinary this species is? Let us know in the comments and share this video to help spread awareness. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss more amazing stories about nature's rarest creatures. See you in the next episode!